Hey, what the hell is up? We uh, are out at 3-5 Customs. Look at that. Oh, God, that's sexy. Sexy? Jesus, I can't even talk today. I've even had coffee. There's literally no excuse. So, anyways, I'm out here at 3-5 Customs. Um, we are filming some awesome cars. I'm gonna show you around a couple today, but we're also we're also getting the uh, Power Wagon some new brakes. Power Stop sent us some brakes. I've got some uh, drilled and slotted rotors, some new brake pads for this big beast here, the Power Wagon. So we leave tomorrow morning uh, to shoot the third and final installment. Sorry, it's so loud. We got, we're out here in farms, we're out in Woodland, uh, California. But yeah, we're shooting the final installment, the third one of this uh, Amazon Prime series. And I'm excited to actually be done with it. It's uh, We've been shooting it since January. We have done California, Death Valley. We did Oregon um, in Utah with the second one. And we were supposed to do the Olympic Peninsula. However, um, we are doing Oregon again. Um, the Olympic Peninsula, there's, we found some issues up there. We aren't able to really go up there there's not a lot of you know places that we can go we've been hearing um some rumors about gates being closed as well as nowhere to go because people are out using our public lands which is awesome but sucks when you're trying to film and need spots to camp when you have a caravan of roughly five vehicles so we're gonna go into some old stomping grounds from high school that i know of where there's probably not going to be anybody maybe some tweakers that's probably about it but we're gonna, uh, so we're gonna do the west side of, uh, of Oregon. We're gonna do the coastal range. We're gonna do some dunes. We're gonna do some beach. We're just gonna get some really picturesque uh, stuff for us to check out. So anyways, we're gonna do some um, maintenance here on the big pig, new brakes, tire rotation. I've already got a bunch of other stuff done to it. I've got to get the AEV um, ProCal. Uh, so my speedometer is right because it is not currently right. But other than that, we're gonna load her up tonight and head out in the morning. We're gonna go stop at power tanks and get our tanks filled. Say hi to Tyler and the gang out there. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna head north. I'm gonna stay at my best friend Joe's house. We're gonna play some video games in his sweet garage. But man, look at the Chevelle. 427. Mm. Let's, uh, let's do a walk around. Lose one? Uh -huh. Oh shit. God dang! That's a Man. Rear. Well, it's uh, whew, hotter than two squirrels getting it on in a wolf sock, as a, my uncle would say. But I just wanted to show you guys a car we just got to drive in. It's been like a childhood dream for both Garrett and myself. I've heard a lot of stories about these cars and how they drive. But anyways, check this out. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'm telling you, uh, one of a kind. It's a uh, 68 Charger RT. RT stands for road and track for those that don't know. But the rarity of this is it's a 426 Hemi. So uh, it's the first year of the big block Hemi. 
Um, this car is extremely rare. It's uh, been restored to complete numbers matching. So that's a, uh, that's a very expensive car. Obviously the Mustang that's inside takes the cake and probably over a million bucks, but um, just absolutely beautiful. Um, you guys already saw this beauty, the 66 Chevelle, um, which actually has a 454 in it. It's a clone car, 427 clone car, but they're gonna put a 427 in it, so that's kind of cool. So anyways, back to brakes, right? Welcome back. So we are headed back up to Oregon to finish. I really drew that F out there, didn't I? Finish, we're gonna finish part three, or I guess all parts of the Divergent Pathway series that we're shooting for Amazon Prime. This will be the third and final of that. So we're gonna go back up to my stomping grounds uh, from high school um, and show you some of that rainforest from the Pacific Northwest. And we're gonna be joined with uh, some people, uh, one I've met, uh, the other two I have not. We've got Chad from Living the Van Life. I met him at Expo this year, great guy, taller than expected. And he's bringing his Sprinter van, so we're gonna get a little of that uh, van life in. Uh, we're meeting a gal named Kristen, I believe. Uh, I have not met her, she goes by Badass Brunette on Instagram. And then later, in the middle of this trip, we are going to be uh, meeting up with another YouTube dude. I'll uh, tell you about him later. I just started watching some of his stuff, which is very interesting because he's very non-conventional. Um, and my kids seem to like his videos as well. So, and I've seen a lot of the stuff that he's done in the Northwest that I've done, especially uh, over on the coastal range. So um, it's gonna be nice to meet him, see him in action, uh, doing his YouTube thing, and then, uh, yeah, I've got uh, Braxton's back with us filming uh, with Evan. So Braxton filmed with us in Death Valley. Uh, he wasn't able to film with us uh, in Oregon over in the Alvord Desert. And, and Christian's back. So the power wagon, the bear wagon is back. It's gone, uh, since you last saw it in Death Valley, it's been through two transmissions, not one, two and uh, not to any fault of his own or the truck really, just uh, the first people who fixed it did not, didn't fix the issue. They, they fixed what broke, but they didn't fix the issue of why it broke. So it had a bad uh, transmission cooler and uh, we're all rocking and rolling now. He's already taken it up to Yellowstone and back and seems to be doing pretty good. And we got Gene back there too, he, he's in that Audi again. So anyways, 
Let's get to crack it. We're gonna head north for seven and a half hours. Not so fun. Well, maybe a little fun? Just, li just little? I don't know. Anyways, as they say, here we go. One of the uh, coolest things about uh, traveling with the fridge, so you want it this close? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I gotta get me an energy drink here because I'm a uh, dragon ass. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, jeez, they're way down there. Oh no, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, Celsius. Oh, I'm loving this stuff lately, loving this stuff. Uh, especially the tropical vibe. Oh man, that fridge doesn't smell that great. You know why? Because uh, <laughs> this is uh, so stupid. I'm gonna shut the fridge here, lock it down. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. It smells like uh, veg vegetable oil. Um, and that's because I spilled vegetable oil in one of my Zargas boxes and it seeped through onto everything and guess what it was the top box of the stack so there's three uh Zarga bo Zargas, Zargas boxes stacked on top of my snowmaster fridge and it seeped through everywhere the snowmaster i tried to clean it up last night did kind of a crap job um but i'm gonna go round two on it today uh, i gotta use dish soap this time i guess that's the best thing to to get it up i don't i don't know tell me in the comment section the best way to clean that off of it, but it does kind of smell funky. It's not rotten or anything like that. It just smells like oil. So I uh, didn't <laughs> vlog much last night. Um, we got into Joe's and uh, uh, we got to drinking pretty quick and stuff. Anyways, um, we are now on the trailhead, I guess you could say. It's actually just four service roads, which we're gonna do for the majority of it. Oh, and guess who got a check engine light already? That guy, that guy. So hopefully it's just a gas cap, which I'm guessing it is because he just filled up. So, oh yeah, around your neck. Yeah, I get it. So look at this guy over here trying to, we got him into the 21st century with his camera. <laughs> he got a new Nikon Z9 and the old potato he was using which is, is gone now. 14 this year. Yeah, so anyways. Uh, game changer. We got Chad from Living the Van Life's here. We got Evan flew in, or not flew in, drove in, drove in. did an all nighter. Yeah, buddy. With the whole crew. Living off Doing it up. YouTubers, YouTube, and YouTubing. What up, what up? It's like uh, breaking the fifth dimension. That's right. This thing is a beast. So we'll do a we'll do a walk around of that proper. We had a long travel Tacoma. Livable. Look at that. Got the dirty bike. And then uh, this problem child. So hopefully it's nothing important. Oh, he's really sagging in the back right now. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Down in the ditch. All right, and now we're gonna head off to the trails. We're gonna take our off-road machines and give, and hopefully that Christians doesn't break down and fuck our whole trip. Oh, we are here. I don't think I ever forget how beautiful it is out uh, here. Well, okay, guys. Uh, make some changes here. All right. It is just so beautiful out here. I mean, look at this. This is insane. I just want to make sure we didn't leave Braxton behind. Pretty sure you have time. Huh? He's adjusting settings on something. In that van. Yeah. I'm going to hang on to another rig. Get this 
party started. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, that's not how I like to use my handle. Damn, that's cool. I haven't seen that. Stopping and getting a beautiful uh, bridge shot. Yeah. All right, brother. Oh, whoa, that's cool as hell. Actually, check this out. This is a uh, really big log or a big stump. Look at that. That thing is old as hell. Watching YouTubers do their thing. Chad's actually got a. Uh, Chad has a really cool uh, uh, channel with a boatload of subscribers, like 600,000 or something like that. But it's called Living the Van Life. It's something I watch with my kids. Uh, it's really cool. He just did the uh, Arctic Circle, which is pretty neat, in his uh, bitchin' van. But my favorite is he rallies his old van again, drifts it in the snow. Sick. I could get the drone through here. Over here. Hi. Oh, hello. You wanna see something cool? Look at the size of that stump over there. No, for real. It just keeps getting prettier. It's just insane. Look at this. This is this is what makes the PNW right here. Oh, I miss hunting in this. This deer trail was used today. Oh yeah. Yeah. Still really fresh tracks. Pretty cool. I was just uh, just telling Chad there like, on the radio when we were coming down is this part of the Pacific Northwest is my favorite. Uh, it's this old growth, and then you can see the green on the tr on the road, like in the centerpiece. You have the orange of all the pine needles, and nobody's been on this road in probably weeks, if not months. Uh, but and then you got the sun rays coming down through the old growth. It's just absolutely beautiful it really reminds me of my youth growing up here and hunting in this and fishing and driving through the back roads there's not a lot to do in small coastal towns either uh you're getting wasted all the time you're driving through the back roads or you just kind of stay at home and play video games and we kind of did everything but we mainly were out on these roads and yeah there's elk tracks yeah it's sick here's did you bring flannel too uh i did actually but brunt sent, just sent me these so I'm stoked to try them out. What are those? New boots. New Brunt boots. What are those? Are they made of kangaroo or? That new new. That new new kangaroo? That new new. They're made of woolly mammoth. Oh. Foreskin. Soft, but just hardy and durable. You had me at double team. <laughs> you know? That's why I come on these trips. You have a chainsaw mount, of course. Mm. Yeah, I bet they're gonna love that. No, slow mo on this. Can somebody blow on my hair? <laughs> you get that chainsaw. Right? You can blow your hair back. You ready? Yeah, one camera, two cameras, three cameras, four cameras, five cameras, six cameras. Six cameras. Put this right here on said line and go start casting. Miles and miles and miles of highway. Trials and trials have been my path. Pressing on with the rickety table makes it super safe. <laughs> yes. 
All two million, or was it all two hundred million of them? Chicken fajita is on the menu. I love fajitas. Fajitas are great. Nice thick meat, flat meat. You know what I'm talking about? We're getting all fancy up in your life. Oh, shit, I've seen that pot before in the salt. Somebody's making some fucking pasta. That's right. As seen on TV. The tried and true <laughs> pasta. What do we got here? Uh, so What's I'm, the actual dish? I'm just gonna do, some, I got some chicken thighs I'm gonna do up in the skillet with some Montreal. Skies out, thighs out. Oh, uh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very single, nice. Single barrel, some asparagus. Shit, you. And then some pasta. I hope you brought another one. You uh, did not come prepared, oh, sir. I got some Wellers too. So. Oh, there you go. Which Wellers? Uh, I have to look. I don't know. It's the first time I've had Wellers. So. I just tried their. Was it twelve year weeded? Oh, that was oh. money. Is it money. the black label or whatever? Gold. Oh, okay. This one's yeah. black with gold lettering. Yeah. Not sure which one. Yo. Oh, I don't want any right now. I got Medela. I'm gonna ease into it. I can hear it sniffing stuff, it sniffs the barbecue and goes around and then it starts walking to the side of my tent and like I'm like, oh, 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 oh. I don't even have my gun with me. And then from there, show me. There it's going to be like the next stretch of highway is going to probably take a long time for us because it is unbelievable shot after unbelievable shot. It's it's more that stretch of highway is on more postcards um, than any other stretch in the map. But we're all packed up. It actually uh, started raining last night. I guess at one, I was out. I thought it was just mist and stuff this morning dripping down, but I guess it fully rained. So you can. Yeah. That's, uh, that's you can see uh, dry rain. Yeah. Evan got a little rained on in his ha hammock. Hammock? Hammock. Dude. I, I didn't, I didn't care. Up. It was so awesome. <laughs> I was, like, if I didn't wake you up, you'd probably be <laughs> drenched later. Day. Hoping you guys would wake up. Yeah, so, did you guys... on my zoom real quick in the far right. Thank you. Eliza's oh, pillow, son. Gorgeous. <laughs> Wide my stance. <laughs> Just barely. Ooh, dude, that was close on that other side of your tent. Keep an eye on that. Other side, other side. Who gives a shit about this side? Oh, stop, 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 stop. You're rubbing on that side. You need to come this side a little bit more. You'll, I think you'll be okay. Is it my roof box? I think so. Well, the big ass Sprinter van is not gonna fit under that log. Oh well. Luckily this road just goes right back up to the main road, the paved road. So we'll, uh, 
Oh, I'm so pissed. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that shit. Right on his tire. That's poop. I know. <laughs> Yet so far away. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, we're just coming up. <laughs> Mud flinging everywhere. After I get through, I'm going to have to cut this for you guys. Oh, the noises. <laughs> <laughs>